All right. Uh, we're going to be talking, we just came through a season of Easter, and so uh, it got me thinking about uh, being convinced, you know, and uh, a lot of people want to try and prove or they ask for proof of the resurrection of Jesus. And uh, I don't want to necessarily talk about Easter, but I want to think about uh, and ask the question, are you convinced? And we're going to do this uh, in several different parts. And uh, I want you to think about coming across some of the overwhelming tasks that you didn't feel like you could conquer. Maybe it was uh, learning to drive. Uh, maybe it was speaking in front of somebody. Maybe it was uh, being asked to clean your room. You, th you look at your room and you're thinking, there's no way I could do this. Um, maybe it's asking somebody out on a special date, writing a multi-page paper. I think a lot of things that there's no way I thought I could do it. Just recently, um, I, went, I spoke at a youth retreat, and they had a thousand foot zip line. And I thought, there is no way. I don't like heights. There's no way I'm going to do that. But some, some people convinced me to do it, including my 10-year-old son, to go with him. But the word convince means to move by argument or evidence to belief, agreement, consent, or course of action to persuade. And we're convinced uh, about a lot of different things. But uh, we're looking at the story. I want to look at the story of David and Goliath from 1 Samuel chapter 17. I want to encourage you to read that. But the first thing I, I see from this is uh, that we have to realize that if we're going to be convinced with God, all things are possible. The giant was over nine feet tall. Uh, some of us are shorter in stature. I know some that are under you know four feet. Uh, some are, are larger, but uh, you know, that's, a, that's from a physical standpoint. But I think about that story and how he was taunting the Israelites for over 40 days. And uh, we have to realize that there's going to be people, it could be ourselves. there's going to be uh, those that come, and it's going to seem like they're taunting. It could be the task. It could be the project. It could be whatever it is that it, it looks like there is no way, there is no hope. But I, one thing, first of all, in order for us to be convinced, we have to realize that with God, all things are possible. It doesn't matter what we feel like. Uh, there's going to be days where we're not going to feel like we can make it. Uh, we're not going to feel uh, like we can overcome, like we can do this. Uh, then there's going to be times where we, we don't feel like we have the power. But we have to realize that with God, all things are possible. So I want to encourage you, as some of you may be facing some situations that seem impossible. Maybe it's in your home. Maybe you're a senior, you're going to be graduating, and you're looking at the near future. You think, there's no way I can do it. Or maybe it's a financial situation that you're wrestling with or, or facing, and you think, there's no way that I can, I can make this happen. Uh, maybe you want to go to college. There's no way. It doesn't matter what it is. As I look at this story, first of all, you have to be convinced. You have to know beyond any shadow of a doubt that you can do it, but it's not because of who you are, but it's because of who He is. So with God, remember that, with God, all things, not some things, not a portion of things, not a small percentage, but all things are possible. So as we uh, look at this, I want you to first of all think about that. Thanks. See you next time.